Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Kyle. Today we celebrate the optional memorial of the Holy Name of Mary. And it's just been brought back into our liturgical year in 2002 by John Paul II. But it's been a devotion since at least um, quite strongly in the 17th, 16th, 17th century, after the Battle of Vienna, uh, attributing the victory there uh, to the intercession of Mary for her protection. So today we celebrate the Holy Name of Mary. And as a reminder, we celebrate the solemnity of the most, the most holy name of Jesus in January. And that's a feast where we celebrate uh, the name of Jesus, at whose name every knee shall bend, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Um, and so a very important thing to celebrate the holy name of Jesus, the most holy name of Jesus, uh, the sacred name of our Lord. Today we celebrate Mary's name as well, because by God's grace and Mary's acceptance, her humility, she became the servant of the Lord and became mother of the Lord through God's work. And so we celebrate her name as well, because her name always points us back to Jesus. So both of these names are very important for us as we celebrate. So even at Mass, the liturgy, we're invited to incline our head when we hear the name of Jesus in the prayers. And also when we hear the name of Mary, we incline our head in the prayers. Um, also the saints of the day as well. But uh, Got my blue book here, Masses of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And since it's kind of a new feast and stuff, they don't always have all the proper preface prayers in that red book that we see at Mass all the time. But here we got the prayer, the preface prayer um, for the Holy Name of Mary. And I think it tells us about the importance of Jesus' name, but how Mary kind of re-echoes that name as well. So it says, um, We give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in no other name is there salvation. At his command, every knee must bend in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. But by your loving providence, the name of the Virgin Mary also should echo and re-echo on the lips of your faithful people, who turn to her with confidence as their star of hope, call on her as their mother in time of danger, and seek her protection in their hour of need. So reminder, even this name of Mary has been exalted, but it points us back to the holy name of Jesus as well. So even in the prayers we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, right? Recognizing the importance of Mary's name. Um, and in the Magnificat prayer, Mary responds to the angel Gabriel. She says, um, The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Again, pointing us back to the Lord. So today, brothers and sisters, we recognize the holy name of Mary, a name that's rather a common name. A lot of people had the name Mary or Miriam in that time. Just look at the Gospels. There's... Ten different Marys, and we're trying to keep track of there as well. But God exalted this Mary and her name because of the great work God had done through her and her acceptance of the Lord's plan for her. So today we ask Mary to guide us closer to her son and help us to recognize the sacredness of the name of Jesus. Mary draws us closer and her name invites us to remember the great power God has done through her. So we ask, holy name of Mary, pray for us today. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.